So I decided to work on this pathway. I've made my pathway a metre wide or 900 millimetres wide and the reason for that is eventually I hope to be able to bring my daughter Ellie up here and uh, by the time these wood chips are compressed she'll be able to be pushed in our manual wheelchair up this pathway and onto the rest of the allotment plot space. So we've already got some growth on these brambles coming through the soil. Uh, I've got to dig all of these out by the way over the next few days. All the roots are coming out. So the path goes up to there, the midpoint. And then today I've removed all bramble roots all the way to the back there. You can see the kind of path I've laid out. I think I've got most of the roots out. Time will tell. That was a bit of a job. But uh, comes all the way to the back. All this has got to go. And this is a metre from here to the boundary for the neighbours. And I'm literally going to make an access path all the way along the back there. I'm happy today that I've basically cleared the whole of this pathway from the previous wood chips that I laid down all the way to back here. I've been putting down this wood chips to match up with the path and that's got to go back a bit to try and create some kind of, this is the access path to go around the back. So this is the access path will come around the back of the compost bins and all this has got yet to be cleared. I'm going to start on that this week. Clear an access path all the way there, one metre. And imagine this is the side of the first compost bin. And there'll be three over here, 1.2 metres wide. One, two, three. So as you can see, I've got the tape measure out. I've got loads of weeds, loads of glass, plastic, bricks, stones. And I've got the boundary fence along the back of the allotment space that I'm working on. And uh, apparently I've got to clear out one meter all the way along this fence, even though there hasn't been one there for years, just in case somebody from the neighboring land wants to access their fence posts, etc., which is fair enough. Haven't got a problem with that. So this is the project for the moment clearing an access path along a boundary fence one meter wide. <sighs> Fuck. Sorry, swearing. There's a lot of plastic. So much plastic, look at this. This is the second bag for the plastic that's buried in this soil just along this stretch. And I'm on my second tub of glass. It's everywhere. Bring you back when I've done 12 foot. <laughs> right, so today, what time is it? Quarter past three, I started at quarter past nine. Six hours it's taken me to basically dig all the roots out of, from this corner, going 12 foot that way. As you can see there, all the roots are now out. This is going to be the access path, don't forget. So you can walk all the way around behind any structures that I've got. And I've laid out here a temporary idea of where my compost bins are going to be doing. So I can walk around the back of the compost bins. I can walk around everywhere. The neighbors have got a nice clear space if they want to renew their fences. And I'm going to have three compost bays. One, two, three up to this 12 foot mark i think i've done a really good job today and that's uh that's a job done for me for the day these are two massive well one massive lump of concrete there that i've got out the the brambles you can see how big that is it's quite heavy but i'm bringing it all out because i want to do something with it three large lumps there a large lump of concrete came out of there I've now got to slowly work my way back along this fence. Didn't come down yesterday, so it was pouring down with rain. Just wanted to show you what we've got here, basically how far we've got. All the way along that fence, 
up to the other end is all now cleared of brambles, not just bramble roots, but uh, plastic, glass, metal. As an example, look what we've got. Hundreds and hundreds of pieces of glass buried in the soil, along with tons of plastic. And that's just that, that, that is just one container of glass. I've got another one full up a big tub and three more bags of plastic. This is the sort of thing that's being pulled out all the time in amongst all the soil you've got tons of plastic that's just been left to muck up the uh, soil. Look at that. That's another big tub full of glass that I've picked out as I've been going. Two more bags of plastic. Look at the stuff that's in here guys that people just leave lying around. Plastic, bags, metal. I mean all the little wildlife and insects are crawling through this stuff you know. It's just not right. This is the fourth bag, dustbin bag, full of plastic there. So just to recap I've got a load more concrete here that I got out as I was coming along that back wall. Tons of metal, carpet as you would expect, pipe work, plastic, beds. There's that shower that I found, a whole shower cubicle. That's all the, the doors for it. This is the shower base. That's my first pile of um, top slicing of the turf and the weeds. This big black, um, what do you call it, water container came out of somebody's loft and I've scrounged that myself. More metal work, more brambles. This can be shredded if I can cut this into pieces. Let's go around. That's my plot where we're sourcing out the, the big dead wood uh, to build a uh, Hiber, what's it? Hibernaculum. Hibernaculum or something like that. Anyway, that's sitting on there still. I should have taken that off for a water. Uh, here's my, some of my plants, but let's focus on the stones that I got out. Here's a big pile of, that came from the, the, the growing bed that I've done. And uh, this has just come out of the the fence along the fence a big pile of big stones but I mean just look at this stuff why would you bring that down an allotment I don't know I mean I could possibly make use of the glass but I don't think I'm going to try but I'm not taking it off site because this actually doesn't belong to me this site so I'm not doing all that hard work only to be told now you've cleared it thanks very much you can go so I'm just leaving it all here see what happens more metal there anyway onwards and upwards there we go still finding tons of glass but we have made i haven't raked this as much as i did in fact i haven't sieved it as much as i did with the uh, with the bed because this is just going to be an access path so let's do a pace out along this fence I've cleared all the brambles and the roots some of them are pretty tough one two three four five six seven eight nine about nine meters so let me show you from the back along that fence that's nine meters that's what i've cleared in the last couple of days i mean it was hard work really hard work and if you remember what it was like when i when i first came here i'll try and put a little clip up i'm really happy with that that is an access path around the back of my my little plot that i'm in charge of at the moment 
if you enjoyed that little access path clearing episode, please give me a thumbs up. Please leave a comment down below. I think it was well worth it. What do you think? If you're not already subscribed, I'd be appreciative if you could kindly subscribe to my channel. That's easy to do. It's totally free. All you've got to do is sign up with YouTube, get yourself an account, come back to my channel, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, make, it a, make a comment down below. I would really appreciate that and I'd love to have your company for next time. Thanks everyone and take care. See you again soon. Cheers.